All right. <clears throat> hey, this is Scott with Bighead Biker. We're doing an unboxing here of a Harbor Freight uh, high position motorcycle lift. Uh, it's been in the garage for a couple weeks, but haven't got a chance to get to it. So let's see what's in here. Um, decent packaging, you know, um, a lot of powder coated metal in here, nothing looks chipped or, or hurt, so, uh, good job Harbor Freight on that. I would assume this is fairly simple to put together, gets pretty good reviews online, I will give my own. I did uh, kind of think about this versus a table. Right now, I just didn't have the room for a table. At least this I can push out of the way. It does not have casters on it. I mean, it does on the back, I think, so you can move it. But eh, we'll see. I had a coupon, got on sale for under 200. You know, you can't really beat that. Um, if it works as they say it will. Definitely get some things off the ground. Okay, so let's put her together. See the bottom. Like I said, everything's powder coated, so you know it shouldn't chip easily. Um, but you don't know, you know, how good it is. So here you can see my big head putting this lift together. Uh, it's really not hard. I probably looked at the instructions too much um, and didn't have tools ready that I needed, but. It took about a half hour to put everything together. It's pretty straightforward. I think pretty well thought out how it goes together and how it works. Um, that's just my two cents, um, but no need to concentrate on this a lot. So here you can see the Sportster up on the lift with the lift all put together, obviously. Um, straps, I redid those a couple times, how they worked. You can actually run them through the legs of the lift, the, the part that actually touches the bike. Uh, the Sportster was a little bit different, uh, leaned quite a bit because of the way the exhaust, the, the front exhaust pipe actually comes down below the line of the frame the bottom of it there so it was a little hard to put on there uh, you just had to strap it a little different um the lift does have two different pins the first position you would put that in it's perfect for taking tires off uh and then the second position is where you see it now up high in the air uh, pretty steady with this sportster on but you know with no body on you know and no fluids doesn't weigh a whole lot um you will see later that I put my road glide up on it. Definitely a difference. It still holds it well. It's just you can tell there's a lot more weight up there. Big Head Biker. 
did a little maintenance yesterday. Got, I put up a picture. You'll see, you got the road glide up in the air. Um, I'm okay with the jack. It needs some adjustment here and there, and some more familiarity with it. Um, changed some fluids. Got some surprises. The uh, transmission bolt drain plug was stripped. It was really hard to come out. When it did come out, it came with metal. Uh, and then I was not using the right torque size. It should be a 27 torque head. And four out of five bolts on the derby cover came off great. However, one did not. And so I have tools and replacements and, and all that on the way to fix that. It, all of it's fixable. I turned to one of my buddies that is a... Uh, very um, ex seasoned, experienced mechanic. So I usually turn to when I need help, uh, but just to throw some things by him. But, you know, last night I was just devastated. Just, you know, I just wanted to do a couple things. You know, I got some Amsoil oil in it. I think it really made a difference. Had tranny fluid ready to go. Primary fluid ready to go. Was really excited about, you know, is it, am I gonna notice some changes, you know? Um, put a little ding in the bike, getting it up on the jack. That didn't make me happy. Um, but I ordered a bra to cover that on the tank until later time. You know, I'm, I am not a seasoned rider. I've had experience, but it's been a while and I'm okay with getting some scratches in this. You know, you you only learn from mistakes, or you should. Sometimes I'm a slow learner. Um, but, you know, my garage is full of stuff here, there, and everywhere. And so I try to work on things, but things are in the way. And I know many of y'all ha have dealt with these things, and you're just, you're lazy, or unorganized, and you just fail to make proper preparations, and then you pay for that. You know, so... Don't be so too hard on yourself. You know, I got a good night's sleep and, and woke up with a fresh feeling of, you know, any anything you do is fixable with the proper know-how and patience, you know. So, um, old Goldie here will be back on the road this week sometime. We'll be fine. Get the Sportster back in here and, and start doing some stuff. Uh, I am happy I bought the Jack. It was easy to get the things. I know it's going to be easy to repair things. You know, it just... Like a little kid, learn how to walk, you're gonna get bumps and bruises, you know? So I've gotten some bumps and bruises uh, as I enter this mechanic world of motorcycling. It is what it is. You know, I, I wanna be transparent with that, that you live, you move on. So stick with me. Um, we'll, we'll move on forward together, so. Take care, everybody out there. Enjoy your Sunday, and uh, we'll see you next time.